Hey, I'm Nick, and today I want to talk about the misconception that you're naturally either an extrovert or an introvert, and how to actually change that. You see, most of the times, the way that someone figures out if they're objectively an introvert or an extrovert is when they're first exposed to the terms, when they first hear someone complain about viewing themselves as I'm such an introvert, I struggle with talking to people, then they start to think of times where they felt similar ways and they then give themselves the label of introvert. And it's easy to do so since most of the time growing up, you've experienced a lot of times that make you have to use the traits of an introvert. As when you're going through the school system, you're always taught to not be loud, be very regimented and only speak with purpose. Like when you're asking questions in the classroom. Now, if you're lucky, then you may have been in a school which inspired and supported you being yourself and being a little louder a lot of the times. But especially when you get into the higher year levels, our focus is put more onto being a lot quieter and a lot shyer. But the truth is, nobody is either an introvert or an extrovert as everyone starts off as feeling shy, especially when they start off their school system in an environment which doesn't promote being yourself and being out there and actually interacting with people as much. And so the factor that dictates whether you grow up to be loud and the same as you would be socially when you were younger, or being quieter and more focused on stuff that doesn't have to do with other people depends on your exposure to good or bad social experiences. You see, every child is scared of the things going around them, and especially of talking to other people. They will always naturally feel shy. It is only when they are faced with experiences that give them the confidence to realize that if I just talk and just make conversation, it's going to turn out well, it's not going to be awkward or scary. And now the biggest limiting factor to getting those experiences is thinking of yourself as an introvert. And therefore, when a time to be social does come up, like going to some kind of party or gathering, and you get there and you think to yourself, man, I'm such an introvert, there is a less less likely chance that you're going to actually go up to people and talk to people and be social because you already think of yourself as an introvert and as most likely because of the experiences that you've had it has not given you the confidence that you need to be able to go up to someone and just talk without worrying what's going to happen next as you may have that safety net of knowing that the last time you did this it ended up well. And so one of the first steps that you can take before you start thinking about how to actually fix yourself is to stop thinking of yourself as someone that needs to be fixed. You do not need to think of yourself as an introvert. And in fact, thinking of yourself as someone who's outgoing and loud and proud will actually help you a lot more or even an equal amount to actually getting experiences which will help your subconscious know that it's going to be all right going out and being social. However, that point is still important. The act of getting experiences is one of the biggest helps to that actual fear and anxiety of being social, as it is very hard to take your subconscious mind away from bad past experiences with being social and trick it into thinking that's going to be all right where it doesn't have an actual base for what all that looks like. And so it's just a fact that you're going to need to take that risk, which in truth isn't really a risk, but you just need those experiences to know that you're going to be okay if you go and be social and you're going to talk to X amount of people and really practice on your speaking skills. But yeah, that's it for today about making the transfer from being an introvert to an extrovert and realizing that everyone starts out shy. It's just your responsibility to take your self-perception of yourself away from that of a person who is shy and think of yourself as someone who is outgoing and then going out and getting those experiences will make your subconscious mind feel much safer in approaching people and actually being outgoing. 
but that's it for today. However, if you're still interested in learning anything about productivity tips or tricks, I've now started one-on-one -on -one coaching, which you can book a call for using the first link in the description. But until then, I'll see you later.